Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of the Road to Max Damage series. It's been quite a while since the last episode, so we have a ton to catch up on. The last progression episode, we had set a goal to grind to level 290, and we have finally achieved that goal. So now the next goal is going to be level 295. Yes, we are not going to stop at level 290. We're going to continue to push levels and push further and further into the end game. And on top of the leveling gains that we made, we did make quite a bit of gains since the last progression episode as well. The last progression episode, we had obtained a book. And in this episode, we have now obtained an eye patch, putting us at five set without a black heart. Please. Yup. Please. Yep. Come on. Come on. Okay. Oh my god. It's hitting, it's hitting, it's hitting, it's hitting, it's hitting! It's hitting! It's hitting! It's hitting! No, it's hitting! It's hitting, it's hitting, it's hitting! It's hitting, it's hitting! Yeah! Catch up in the fucking! Catch up in Nickelback Tag! Catch up in Nickelback Tag! Oh my god! Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Catch up in Nickelback Tag! On top of the magic eye patch, we did finally 22 star a daybreak to replace our superior Golux item. Yes, I have fully switched off of Golux items as of now, but we are probably not going to end up double priming the daybreak. We'll probably just wait for a source to drop whenever that happens and pray that it goes to 22 stars. We did also three line our secondary, which in my opinion, this is BIS for party bossing, which is what I prioritize my damage around. And on top of all of that, we did double prime our eye patch and we did finally double prime our dreamy belt. In terms of future goals with the current gear that I have, all of it is double prime, at least the ones that will be permanent. And I will not be double priming my CRA or the last part of my arcanes. We'll just continue to wait for more eternal and pitch boss drops to min max those in the near future. As well as the gear upgrades and level upgrades, we are pushing our Legion to 9.5k. That is the next goal that we have. We're currently sitting at 9.271 Legion, and hopefully we want to hit 9.5 within the next three months and then potentially push towards 10k Legion. I don't really actively train Legion, but I use the events passively to help get all of my characters from 200 to level 210 and then 215 and so on and so forth. So now that we've kind of got all the actual gains out of the way, let's talk about the things that have happened that haven't been the best. So we did end up booming the last two Eternals that we have gotten. So that makes us 0 for 3 on Eternal Hats. But we are progressing Chaos Kalos now. So the Eternals will be much more accessible every five weeks. And in about two weeks from the time of this recording, we are going to be obtaining the piece from Cowling as well. Unfortunate that none of the Eternals that we obtained actually went to 22 stars. But these are items that we get every five weeks. So it's not too big of a deal. It's not like a pitch boss item where you could go an entire year without seeing one. These are very easily accessible so no worries we will eventually be four set in the future as well as progressing chaos kalos we are now progressing extreme black mage and extreme Saren. so hopefully in the future we can get our hands on a Saren emblem finally it's been 73 clears and we have been yet to see one but hopefully with the progression of extreme Saren, we will find ourselves a Saren emblem in the near future so as some of you may remember from the last progression episode we were trying to double prime our weapon but unfortunately, saving the money for cube sale did not go as planned. And we are currently sitting at about 1.1 T spent on the weapon without seeing double prime. Hopefully in the future, with the helps of a cube sale, we will end up finally seeing the double prime that we've been waiting for over the last year. And in terms of other gains that we've made on our account, obviously six shop has been released and we have been heavily pushing the six shop progression. Here's the current hexa matrix that we are sitting on right now. We have 29 origin, 21 mastery, level one boost, level 15 infinity boost, 19 legacy boost and 10 storm boost so we'll continue to hard push the hexa matrix in the future which is really nice because we're finally able to get guaranteed gains from farming which is something that i've been waiting for for a very long time so personally i like to prioritize my damage around party bossing so i am full sending the origin all the way to level 30 which is quite expensive but we only have one more level to go so once we get that knocked out of the way the rest is going to be smooth sailing so currently stat wise we are almost at 72k with roar on and with a stat ring we are at about 74 
8.5k hopefully in the future we are able to push that 80k benchmark and push even further with the help of eternals and more pitch boss items and just overall sack force upgrades and on top of all that other progression we've made in the last four months we just did a pr on our culvert of 46k and hopefully in the future we can push the 50 and then 60k benchmark on the culvert so now that we've gone over all the gains we've made in the last four months let's talk about the future goals that i have for this character and overall account so like I said before, the next goal is to push level 295. We want to try to push our stat to about 80k and then hopefully in the future push our legion to about 10k in terms of future bossing there isn't a ton of new bosses to progress but hard calling is definitely the next boss that our party wants to progress but they'll have to wait until the future when we make more six shot progression and make overall gains for the entire party but as of now that is everything up to date with the account and the overall gains on this character Hopefully in the next episode, we do finally end up double priming our weapon. Hopefully we end up getting some more Eternals and hopefully we do end up getting more pitch boss drops. But as of now, that is going to wrap up this progression episode. I hope you guys all did enjoy this episode and look forward to seeing you all in the next one. Take it easy. Peace.